guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to make the case work for the mains hub that we're going to be producing. Um, I did speak to you guys quite a while ago about this but uh, it's taken me uh, quite a while to get round to it. So let's show you the stuff you need to do this job. Right okay so what we've got here is um, three pieces of uh, birch plywood uh, 24 mil thick okay so we've got three of them uh, we've already cut them uh, well I've already cut them into the size that I need them uh, so these come out at, um, 850 mil long by, by 130 so another thing I've already produced to speed the video up is the template for the routering okay so this is going to sit on the top and we're going to be routering out now you will need a router this is our router it's a, a small palm router and um, we've got a, uh, a small uh, quarter of an inch bit in there so and, and these are the most important things as well are the back plates that fit in to here like so and our sockets that are going to go in afterwards and then this piece at the end is going to be for the mains filter to go in but th this will be explained as we go along so what we're going to do is we're going to first start out by doing some routering and showing you how to do that so let's do that so what we need to do is we need to be able to um, feed all our wire through and um, so we're going to have to as this goes down we're going to have to make a um, make a series of, of slots under here like so so we can wire our push our wire through root our wire through that's the words I was trying to come up with so um, so we're going to do that first so what we've got to do is we've just got to get this measured up here so I've already worked some measurements out on here to speed the video up and the same that end okay then we need our square because we want to follow that through down so we're going to be some of the routing is going to be on the top plate on the underneath of it and some's going to be on the the next piece down okay there we go that's perfect there right so now we need to turn this over and now we need to get one of our rulers here okay we want to mark this line okay so now this is the obviously the um the back plate again there so that's going to go about there so we need to mark round I shall show you this in a second right okay so that's how that's how wide we need our our grooves to be so we're going to take our ruler again now and just join those two two circles up okay, and the same with that there we go so that's on the first piece so what we're going to do is we're going to route that out now so we have a trend uh, right router guide here and we want to just uh we're going to use this as a guide for the side now obviously we need to measure the router because we've got to get it in the right place okay so we're going to start and then we're going to gradually move over so move that out of the way there for the second so what we want to do is we want to clamp this down <coughs> okay 
onto there. Then we're going to measure back. With our ruler from there to there that's about 43 mil round slightly to the cut off it it's about 43 mil so that's only 33 there so we've got to go over a bit more there quite a bit right that's about it there Check this down here, this end there. Gotta come this way a little bit. Tighten that down. This is the bit that's a bit tricky at first because we've got to get it all set right. So I'll get it set up and I'll be back in a second. So I've got my router set up. I've set the table up here and um, I've adjusted the router so I've got a router out a series of grooves on here so let's have a go now Right, so we've got it to that, so we've, we've put one groove in it and now what we want to do is just keep going deeper and deeper until we get to the desired uh, length, uh, depth I should say. Uh, so we're going to just bring it up a bit more <clears throat> and go again. go a bit deeper Gonna keep going deeper for a bit. So we've got to go a little bit more deeper now on that one and then and then we'll be able to uh, start going wider. Right, okay, that's probably about right now. <laughs>
now there we go we've got our um <clears throat> our groove in there quite nicely now if you can see that there it's perfectly um straight so all we're going to do is move it over and route the rest out then i'll be back in a minute so i've now routed um the desired channel in in the piece of ply so now all i've got to do is to do the same to the other side so i shall do that and be back soon so i have now routed both grooves in the uh into the boards here so that one goes on top of there and that's going to be perfect for the um, for the back box, okay, it actually goes around that way. You can see it's routed straight away through. Um, once we screw it all together, we'll we'll clean all the edges up and everything else. So that's going to be about there. So this is our now. This is our um, our template. This is the next part of the job so we've got to offer this up and we're going to have to pin this down so we can router the um, the holes in it okay so that's that and then this pops into here and that will fit just in that that part there so we'll be getting the uh, so the cable can route straight the way through it's going to be perfect Okay, so that goes around about there. So that's going to be the next bit. So we've got to pin this in place now. So I shall do that now. So um, we've just got to screw these two together. So we're just going to put uh, one screw in each end for now. Just so we can get them uh, bolted down and they don't move about too much. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple of posi drives in here, 30 mil posi drives. And once this is all routed out, we'll be gluing, gluing the uh, planks together and bolting them down. Right, okay. So we've got that to that stage now. Okay, so now it's just a matter of now fitting this piece on there so we can router it out. So I'm going to put some pins in this now. So I've got some uh, panel pins here and we're just going to bang one in at each end um, so we can get it. can get it spot on. I'm going to bring that up slightly. I mean I know this is quite a complicated, um, in a way quite a complicated job for you guys to do. Um, some of you will be able to do it easy, especially if you're good with wood. Some of you will struggle with it a bit. So all we're doing now, we're just going to hammer that into there. So then we can lift this back up afterwards because we don't want this moving about while we're routering it. There we go, that'll be in there nice and tight now. So that's not going to fall off and it's dead centred. Perfect. Right, so now all I've got to do now is to fit my guide in my router Okay, so this router here needs to have the plate taken off the top. Right, I shall take that off and be back in a second. 
Right, so now we've got our route set up again. We've bolted it to the uh, table. So now we're just going to route this out now. Um, so let's turn the router on. Whoops. It's not plugged in, that's no good. Right, let's just plug the router in. Turn some lights on as well so we can... Here we go, that's better. Right. Let's go. Right, so we'll flip our router on. We're going to lower it down slowly. And you need to bring the router down slightly, it's a bit gone a bit too far. That's better. So I just need to adjust that to go a bit lower. Just take your time and do it slowly. just got to keep going down until we get to the desired depth Right, so if you could see that, it's gradually getting deeper. So I'm going to carry on with this and be back in a second. So I've been routering them out. You can see the middle one. And this one has gone really deep. So I'm just going to carry on. So I'll show you how I'm carrying on. Um... So you can see how well this is going um, I've uh, I've been routering it out slowly you have to just gradually increase the uh, the depth of the route a bit and then we'll get down to there so I'm going to carry on and get this bit done and then I'll be back soon so here we have it I've routed them all out deep there now I've just got to take the uh, template off now which I'm going to do and then um, split them and then finish routering out the rest of the middle section that needs to be removed. So I'm going to do that now and be back soon. Right, okay, as you can see we're, we've removed the blocks on the inside now. On those three, uh, four. So I'm just going to show you how to do this on this one. So we're going to take the top away. And we're just going to clamp the piece of wood down to the bench. And we're just doing this the old fashioned way with a chisel. So it's a very extremely sharp chisel 
and we're just gonna the beauty of plywood is it just splits away because it's in layers there we go that's popped off there so now we've just got to take it down flat So then we just want to sort of just take it down a bit more there. We could router this as well, but I find this just to be as quick to do it this way. If you've got to set the router up, you've got to keep lowering the router down and that, and you can only take so much off at a time, but doing it this way. It just speeds up the process. I mean, all these jobs, they're all about, you know, getting fast at doing these, these things, as well as, uh, you know, you've got to, they've got to be good, but you need to be fast as well. You need to be able to... Okay. See, this is extremely sharp Irwin chisel, very uh, quality. Right, so we're just going to give that a bit of a... Right, I'm just going to get a hoover and give it a bit of a hoover out all along. Just a few bits there, just to tickle away a bit. Right, so now we've just got to screw the back back on again because where these are rounded, we need to clean out the corners on it. So to make the um, to make them square instead of having a round rounded end to it, a rounded edge, I should say, on the corners. So we're just going to bolt these back in these screws. Get that straight back in there. There we go. So we just want to go down the edges now with those and just to square up the edge there, the corner. So I'm going to clean all these corners up to make them square like that one now and I'll be back soon. So I've got all the um, I've got all the uh, the boxes all cut out there now. I don't know whether you can see that very easy there. There we go. So even on this one, the end one there, okay, I've already cut a piece of plastic to go in there. So I've I've rebated it down a bit there and I've got a bit of plastic to go in there so wherever that's gone now um, I'll find it so here's the plastic uh, a bit dusty at the moment a bit of perspex so <clears throat> that's going to go into there like so if I can push that in place it's a long way round There we go, so that's how that fits in there. So what I'll do is I'll spray the inside of that. Um, and that's where our mains filter is going to go. Um, so if you can see now, it's all looking very smart. Um, so all I've got to do now is put some screws in. So I need to take this off, level it all up and then start screwing it all together. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just undo these two screws here that we use for um, just to hold it in place and then we want to put a lot of glue around it so we've got our glue here 
there we go evo stick glue so we're gonna put a bead of this around it all Spread it all around with your finger. Get lots of glue around so it really makes it nice and strong. want to make sure you get every little bit covered you don't want anything um, running out this put lots of it on there all round we'll just clean all the excess glue off after with some wipes fingers right uh, let's get this back over the correct way that way lower it onto there what I'll do is just put those other two screws back in for a second just so because they're the guide screws for where we got it there we go. that one goes in there what we'll do we'll just turn it over just to make sure that we've got the uh... right so all these sides are all going to be sanded up now this whole unit is going to be covered in a leather look fabric like a faux leather uh, the reason I want to do that is that I want it to this this actual um, this is marine ply this this wood it's not birch so it doesn't have a great grain in it so what I want to do is cover it all up I don't really want to keep it wood I want to make it uh, like a, a nice textured finish on there now I could fill it all and spray it all but I thought I've got some very nice leather look fabric and what I'll do is I'll glue it all on and cut it all out and then it will just give it that really nice professional look to it so now we've done that so we've got to turn it over now what we need to do is to start putting some screws in it to screw it into place um, so we want to really bolt it down all over so we're going to use a drill bit because we want to pile up all the holes that we're going to drill you don't really want to uh, so we're just going to go around and put several screws down now you won't see these because there's another bit of wood down over the top of it Now obviously when you're drilling it out you want to make sure that you don't so I've put a drill bit there just at the edge of that piece there which is uh, where the um, where the the plugs gonna go in there for the earth so don't put a screw in there just uh, keep it the same both sides if you can that one there
that a bit further here. We want to come to the end here again now. Two in there. One about there. And one about there. Right. So now what we need to do is just to countersink all those. So we're going to do that now. So we've got our uh, countersink bit hit in there. You can see it there. So all we've got to do now is just to countersink everything. Right, so that's some all countersunk. Now we're going to be using some screws to screw it together. So we're using these Razor 35mm deep. Okay, so they're going to be nice and strong, these screws, to keep it all together nicely. There we go, one in there. Now I'm going to take that guide screw out now, we don't need that one in there now. Now this video takes, this, to, to build this all on one video is just too much really. I know I've seen other people do stuff but um, I prefer to do this over a few videos so this video is just about building the casework for the main conditioning hub to start with and then uh, we'll get on to the, uh, the doing the outside finishing of it in another video and then we'll finally get to wire it all up with all the plugs and I'll show you the main filter and everything else but for now this is just to build the case go that's all nicely done there um, we need to wipe this again there's so much glue oozing out everywhere now if you want to really make sure you you get a really good bond on it I just get all that glue off because we've got to sand these sides down to make them extremely uh, nice and smooth so they take the uh, the leather look fabric, the faux leather that I'm going to put where I'm going to cover it in. Now you don't need to do that, you can do whatever you like with the finishing. Um, I'm just doing it like this because once you see it, you'll see how well it looks and it does, it really looks smart once it's uh, covered. Um, that over there, all that glue. 
So we've still got some glue oozing out on the inside and that's going to interfere with the boxes going in there so we need to remove that as well. Just give the inside a wipe round. Just get that glue off. Just smudge it all in around there just to So this is um, this is this piece now done. So now all we've got to do now is we've got to just fit on the the last back plate there. Okay, we've still got a glue oozing out, but we can uh, we could just wipe that as we go along. Another final wipe there. Just smudge it in with your fingers and all that. As I say, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you was polishing this, you wouldn't want glue on the surface of it. But because it's being covered, we uh, it won't really matter too much. Make sure I get all that out from inside there as well. Right, so we need the last the last part, which is the bottom. Now I could just leave it like that, but I want to I want to make it a lot more firmer. So that's why I'm using this piece here go over the top of it so that'll go on there like so and then what we're going to do is just sand the ends up so we get the ends nice and square as well so that's going to go like that okay so we're going to what we're going to do is we're just going to clamp all this down with loads of clamps and leave it to dry and then we'll probably put some panel pins in the bottom here to to uh But they're hidden up so I want to put a load of glue on here that, that'll do right so I want to pop that onto there you could if you've got a nail gun you could nail it on I've got a nail gun somewhere, but I'm not going to bother with that. What I'm going to do is put some panel pins in here, just to get it in place. Just see whether these are long enough. That's no good. There we go, that's just long enough just to get down to where I need to go. So we've got a load of panel pins here, let's just put those onto there. Um, so I'm going to line that up, start getting that in place. in place I'm not going to bang that in totally yet just want to make sure that everything's lined up down this end right, that's all right that can be hammered in now Okay, so we're going to put some more in. Put up this end as well.
So it's just one in either end here. Up there, I'll do it probably. And one down here. So I've managed to avoid any of the screw holes there, you see. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to clamp this down a bit all around with a load of clamps and leave it to dry for a bit. Look, let's see, look, we're going to have loads of glue oozing out of there. So I'm going to clamp it all around and be back in a second. So here we have it all clamped up. Now we're going to have to leave this till tomorrow overnight just to make sure it's all glued up really well there we go that's the underside of it just need to give it a quick wipe in the inside again get some of this glue out I mean my local uh, hi-fi shop the one that I go to Deco Audio they sell uh, a uh, mains conditioning hub like this in there and it's around about two thousand pounds so uh and the beauty of using proper sockets is they're so much better than just a cheap trading socket and um the plug sits in it better you get a better contact the whole thing's better and uh and that's the beauty of it so we'll leave that now and then we're going to uh, we're going to come back and do the finishing touches to it in this video. So, okay, I'll see you a bit later. So we've had this um, in clamp overnight now. So I'm just going to remove the clamps for it from it. it. Takes quite a lot of clamps you need. Um, you can just screw the back of this on if you want to. But I'm just being uh, fussy about it. Um, so all this needs now is just a good sand up all around, and the edges, the the the, the ends are squared up a bit, which I'm going to do on the uh, disc sander. So oh, there we have it looks very nice so we'll just head over to the disc sander here and we're going to sand the ends up but first of all I want to square the ends up first with a square right okay so this is the disc sander here we'll take this and just give it a bit of a sanding up on here Side's done.
Right, so we're just going to give it a blast through here like this. Right, there we go, that's all sanded up there. Now we're just gonna use the uh, the hand sander now, the um, electric sander, just to finish it off. So I'm just going to finish sanding this off and then I'll be back in a minute to show you the finished article. So here we have the uh, the casing of the mains conditioning hub all made. Okay, that's where the IEC plug's going in that end. This is the filter that's going to be going in here. Okay, this is a plastic cover that I put over. I want the filter to be seen. Um, and these are the plugs. Now you can see here, I've done some cutouts. And this is because we need to put some rubber bungs on the holes because we don't want any of the cabling rubbing against the, the metal work of the, the metal back box. So and this is the back boxes will be pushed in. They go in nice and snug. And at this end here, we're going to be putting our earth um, our earthing post. Okay. So, what you could do with this now, if you wanted to, you could paint it. You could paint it white, grey, whatever you want. But I want to give it a really luxurious finish, so I'm going to cover it in a in a faux leather. And uh, it will be glued in place, and I'll do a video on that separately to show you how to do that. And it does take a lot of work to do this. I'll be honest with you, it took quite a while to router it all out and to 
Yeah, it's just and the, the beauty of uh, plywood is because it's in uh, it's in plies, you can chisel it quite easy. So, but um, if you can't route this, you'll you'll have to get somebody um, a, a chippy or a cabinet maker joiner or somebody you know that can router and uh, do that you could actually jigsaw it out if you wanted to and then glue the pieces together so that's another option i mean th the bottom line is is once you put the boxes in and then the socket goes over the top of it you won't see any of the underneath of it anyway as long as all the sides are all smooth and they're all uh, level and straight and true and everything that's all that matters really so i think that's it for this video i hope you like this it's taken a while to do it that's why i can't do all these videos in one go so this is going to be done in the three sections uh three different videos this is the first part one and then we're going to be covering the box and uh, giving it that nice feel and putting some feet on the underneath of them of it um, and then the second video will be wiring it all up and showing you how to fit in the mains filter and that. So, okay. So, uh, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys. Oh, and there's uh, Milo the Jazz Dog asleep in my AV room again. Little bugger. <laughs>